Good morning, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> so we are about to head to the airport. We are going on a little anniversary trip for our three year wedding anniversary. So we will see you guys when we get to our destination. So we went to Starbucks, of course, and I got the new holiday drink, like the sugar cookie one. It's so good. What did you get? The caramel brulee? I don't know, it's good though. <laughs> Delicious. So we have reached our destination. You can probably tell at least by my sunglasses that we're somewhere a little tropical. We got here and showered and like changed into our bathing suits. We're about to head down to the pool area, but I'm gonna show you guys the view from our room and then you guys can guess where you think we are. Cause it is kind of like, I feel like it's a popular. I think so, very popular. Right? Yeah, like a popular place. So I'll show you guys where it is. Comment down below if you know where it is before we tell you <laughs> in the comments. All right, this is the view from our balcony. Any guesses? Maybe the water slide might give it away. Does anyone know where we are? Comment down below. If you guessed the Bahamas, you're right. We are here. We're at the Atlantis this time, um, which is different because normally every other time we've been to the Bahamas, we've stayed at Baja Mar. So we decided to switch it up a little bit this year. We're very excited. So it's our first time ever at this resort. Very nice resort for sure. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So we're gonna go downstairs and explore a little bit more. We are here to celebrate our three year wedding anniversary. I don't know if I told you guys that already this morning. I was so tired when we were vlogging. Yeah. I don't even remember what I said, but we're here. It's a beautiful day and we're gonna go downstairs and explore the resort. earrings in like ferociously my hair is not done i'm just gonna be taking it out of this bun after we checked into our room we like walked around for a little bit because this place is massive like humongous um a lot bigger than i like expected it to be because we've been to baja mar before which is another like big resort in the bahamas but this place is like a lot bigger in size so we just kind of walked around a little bit and then we took a nap and now we are late for our dinner reservation. So <laughs> I just did like super natural makeup, literally like tinted moisturizer, brow gel and mascara and some lips. And I'm gonna just take my hair out of this crazy bun. Mm. Thankfully it doesn't look that horrible. A little brushy brushy, but I feel like we did definitely need a nap. It was a long travel day. So glad that we did that feel like energized now. And I'm excited because tonight I made reservations at Carmine's. They have a Carmine's here, which is like an Italian restaurant. We love the one in the city. We go there all the time, like back home in New York. I saw they had one of them here. So I just made that reservation for tonight. So that's where we're heading. I literally have you guys like resting on this ice bucket thing, so. I look a little disheveled. <laughs> this is like an old outfit, but it's comfy and I'm just like, okay, I know this works because I don't have time. So I don't know how they're like with reservations here. Like if you have to be there right at the second. So we gotta go. Steven, of course, ready to go as usual. <laughs> for 10 minutes or so. You look very nice. All right, you ready to go? Oh yeah, and they gave us a room that had two queen beds because basically when we checked in, they were like, we can give you a room with a king bed, but it's not gonna be ready right now. So you're gonna have to wait a couple hours or we can give you a room with two queen beds right now. And we were like, mm, we'll take the two queens because <laughs> we were tired. We just wanted to put our stuff away and like- Yeah, definitely worth it just to get in here and yeah. sleep for a little bit. Yeah, because he said it was gonna be like a couple more hours till we had one with the king. So we were like, it's okay. All right, ready to go to dinner? Yeah, let's go. Okay. It's so cute. There's like this whole little village with like all these shops and stuff. Ooh, a candy store. So cute. Thanks to Steven's hustling me right past the stores. We're gonna make it right on time for the reservation. <laughs> we can hopefully look after dinner. Yeah. Yum. Okay, so I couldn't decide between this cocktail that's like passion fruit and then this one that's like a spritz. So Steven was like, you get one and I'll get the other. We'll so we can split them. That's how you know you have a good husband. Not getting a beer for me. <laughs> trying one of my fruity little drinks. They look good though. Cheers. Is it good? It's 
was good too. Okay, so we kind of forgot that everything here is served family style. I, <laughs> I know, because we normally just go with like my whole family and now it's just the two of us. I'm like, how are we gonna eat this salad? It's like so much bigger than my hand, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we already had to bag the salad and now the dinner came out. Oh my goodness. I'm already full. <laughs> we did the best we could. Try. <laughs> Gonna have to bring this home. Lunch tomorrow. It was good though. Lunch tomorrow sounds good. Good morning, you guys. It is day two here in the Bahamas. We just found out that there's a Dunkin' Donuts here. So we are excited. We're about to go downstairs, get our coffee fix, and then head to the pool because it looks like it's a beautiful day. Okay, got our coffee. I was a little nervous at first because it looks like so much lighter than home. Like I thought it was gonna be all milk, but it tastes really good, so. Mm -hmm. Like the coffee tastes like stronger or something. I don't know. It's sweet. It's good. Yeah, it tastes good. So we got our Dunkin' fix. That's right. All right, you guys. Steven's going on the big slide. Let's see how it goes. I'll wait down here. I'm going to film it. And hopefully he's okay because I'm too scared. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. Okay, so there's all these sharks that you have to go through. And that is the slide. Steven's up there somewhere waiting. Oh my goodness. All right, that was so fast. So let's go find him now that he came out at the bottom. How was it? <laughs> was it scary? It was so fast. Oh, I got water in my eyes. I gotta close my eyes the whole entire time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Aw. It was fun though. All right, well now that Steven's done being a daredevil, I told him that I'll go in the lazy river with him. Well, this one has rapids in it. So yeah, so it's not necessarily like super lazy. Like there is like rapids and stuff. So I was like, that'll be what I'll do today. <laughs> Maybe I'll go on the slide before we leave, but I feel like- my goal is to get you on the big slide. Yeah, today, not, not the day for that. <laughs> How was it, Cal? <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I didn't realize it was going to be like that, and then it was so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Now it's the lazy part, thank goodness. <laughs> we'll be back. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. My hair just looks ravishing right now. It is hair wash day, which is why I think I might go on the slide today, or at least one of the slides, because I'm like, if I'm gonna get my hair wet, might as well just do it on the day that I plan to wash it anyways. So it is another beautiful day here. We got so lucky with the weather. The first day when we got here was like a little rainy, but every other day has been so beautiful. So we're about to head on down to the pool and relax. You guys, I went down the big slide. If you can't tell by my soaking wet hair, I went down every single slide. I screamed at the top of my lungs. It wasn't like a having fun scream, it was like a death scream. <laughs> like my throat hurts from how loud I screamed. I asked, everyone heard it. <laughs> and there was like literally kids in front of me that were like maybe, I don't even know, 10, probably even younger. So I was like, all right, Kelly, you have to do it. Whew. All right, you guys, so. We are currently trying to bulk shoot content, which is what we like to do when we travel. Because basically, Instead of having to like get ready and take pictures every single day and like content and stuff, I like to just like get ready one day and then take all the content that day and then can kind of relax. Like as far as like Instagram pictures and stuff go for the rest of the time. So that's what we're doing today. Steven was downstairs like taking a bunch of pictures of the scenery and stuff. Yeah. I was getting ready. So now we're just taking some different shots. I'm gonna go change into a different outfit. But what I didn't realize is when we got here, the time changed the first day for daylight savings. So it literally, the sun goes down at like 5.20. Yeah. So it's so early where like normally sunset is at like seven or something is what I'm used to shooting at. So I had to get ready really fast, which is why my hair, Looks like this, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, we got some shots in. We got a couple different outfits. So it looks so, so pretty though. The sun is like basically setting right now, but it is beautiful. So we're gonna show you guys a little view. This is like the main pool, I guess. We never even sat here. Yeah, cause the main pool, they have a pool, a family pool and a kid's pool, I guess. Yeah, but you can see the buildings behind us, but it is just like massive. It looks so pretty at night. So we're gonna go upstairs now and get changed. We have dinner reservations a little bit later because today is actually our actual anniversary. Yeah. Um, November 9th, so today is three years. So three years ago today at this time, I feel like, wait, what time is it? Oh, six, th wait, oh, 5.39. Okay, so now. always get married, actually? Uh, yeah, like six, seven, six, seven, six 6.30 it was. That's when it started? Yeah, like I walked down the aisle at 6.30. And then, so I guess we were like technically married at like seven. So still not exactly three years yet. Almost. <laughs> yeah, almost three years. 
But um, this place is incredible. I have to say. I, I know we really so enjoyed it here. Yeah. Like so so pretty because we actually do leave tomorrow morning or not tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon. So tonight's our last full night. Yeah. Um. So I made reservations tonight for us to go to Nobu, which is like supposed to be a very nice sushi, sushi. restaurant, which we love. So we're gonna go upstairs, get changed, and then head to our little anniversary dinner. Steven wants to take a picture in this little heart swing. Let it be known it was Steven's idea, not mine. <laughs> It is so cute though. The little heart. Oh, I love it. This is cool. Oh god. Oh. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm off. Can you get on here? I think so. Oh my god, wait. This is like scary. Alright, get on. Hang on. I feel like I don't know if I can vlog and do this all at once. It's not gonna flip, I got it. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Our butts are like smashed together. Yeah. I've been on swing in years. I know. This is cute. Never have swing. I don't know if you guys can like see. <laughs> Aw. All right, we just got changed one last time and now we're gonna head downstairs. I think we're gonna get a drink first because they have like a happy hour. Because the drinks here are kind of expensive. Like I feel like they're like, how much? Like $17 or something yeah. for like a cocktail, which I mean, I feel like at every it's resort it like is. normal, I guess, for resort pricing. Yes, but they do have from like five to seven where they're only like, what is it, $7 or something or nine? Nine, yeah, nine. Yeah, so we're gonna head downstairs, have a drink, and then head to dinner. Cheers. Okay, guys, so we just finished dinner. It was so good. It was like absolutely delicious. Such good sushi. Yeah. We're heading downstairs now because they have this whole like indoor, what is it called? I keep thinking marina. Aquarium. Aquarium. <laughs> That's like so cool. So we're gonna bring you guys to check it out. like all like inside of the resort like and it like goes for like a long time too it's crazy steven's just mostly upset that the gift shop is closed over here because <laughs> we came too late okay so we just finished the dig like the whole aquarium and it's cool because like in here you can actually get married yeah. through a little wedding venue and they have like the glass in there so you can see through which would be a cool little idea for a wedding. Hey guys, so we are back home now. We just got some Panera, yeah. <laughs> our favorite place. If you've ever had the broccoli cheddar soup from Panera, you know, it's just so good. It's the only thing I get, broccoli cheddar or bread bowls. That's it. <laughs> it's so good though. Yeah. But anyways, we just got some Panera. We figured that we would end the vlog by answering some of your questions because while we were there, I got like so many DMs just about like going to the Bahamas in general, like the travel there right now, and then like the Atlantis and stuff like that, which is where we stayed. So I figured it'd be easier for me to just like. Before we start, I would say overall, the process was not that bad. No, because I was very scared. Yeah. yeah, like I was scared to leave the country. This is the first time that we were leaving the country since the pandemic. Um, so I really did not know what to expect, but it was very no, seamless. No complaints from people that we had to deal with and everything like that. Everyone was nice, friendly. Yeah. Um, everything's pretty self-explanatory. Blue United, they pretty much set us up with, you know, what to do and just follow directions and you're good to go. Yeah. It was easy. Like every country is different. So this wouldn't be for every single country, but for the Bahamas, basically, um, whether you're vaccinated or not, you need to get tested before you go there. There's different days, like a different amount of days before you need to get the test, depending on whether or not you're vaccinated. Yeah, like but just change over down there or something. Oh. Yeah, something like change. But regardless, you have to get tested before you go. You like submit that to your airline and then they give you your boarding pass with that. So that was like an easy process. And then when you're there, um, at the Atlantis, they will test you right there. So again, um, to come back to the United States, whether you're vaccinated or not, you need to have a negative test. But the Atlantis made it super easy because we just could get the test there. And it literally took 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like you make an appointment, they took us immediately, swabbed us and it was over. So it really did not take a lot of time like out of our day at all. Um, and yeah, it was just very simple. You just submit that again to get your boarding pass to go back home. Um, the negative test. So it was easy. The Atlantis was very clean. There was sanitizer everywhere. So I felt very comfortable anywhere we went. Oh yeah, you do have to wear your mask all in the property, which is fine. Um, definitely inside. Outside like, is kind of up to discretion. Like obviously if you're in the pool, you're not gonna be wearing your mask. Um, but you're, in, supposed to, but you're supposed to wear it in the pool? 
Well, not outside, but <laughs> oh, if you're, if you're in like, the pool, well, obviously you can't wear it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, inside everybody wore masks. Um, yeah. You know, they like mandate that. And they do like take your temperature when you first get there and stuff. There's like these big machines that like scan your temperature, which is kind of interesting. They looked like photo booths. So at first I was like, oh, is this a photo? Right, <laughs> like, right. like a welcome photo? But it's actually scanning your temperature. But um, overall, very easy process. Like I was very nervous about just all of that because we hadn't left the country yet. Um, and it was a very easy, no, nothing was you know hard about it. That's basically everything with like traveling there, restrictions, whatever. As far as the Atlantis, we loved it. We had such a good time. Yeah. And this is not like sponsored at all or anything. Like we paid for absolutely everything. I will say the, you know, the food, drink, stuff like that is very expensive, just like it is at many other Caribbean resorts. Yeah, that's up quick. Yeah, it definitely is very pricey. Um, all the restaurants and stuff and everything like that. It's not all inclusive. Um, you know, there are obviously other options in the Caribbean that are all inclusive, but the Atlantis is not. And there's just a ton to do there, which is nice. So many restaurants, there's like a shopping mall, a big casino, um, so much like wildlife, like aquarium, all the water park stuff, like, so many different things to do all day and we literally never left the resort <laughs> so yeah. and we didn't even um, see all of the resort no yeah we didn't even get to see like all the resort you know we were there for five days so obviously if we went for longer we would have left and stuff but we've been to the bahamas many times i did get a lot of questions when we were there about the atlantis versus baja mar because if you guys have followed our channel or followed me on social media we've been to baja mar quite a few times which is the other like mega resort i guess in the Bahamas, which is like their biggest competitor. I would say they're very, very similar, but very different. Like they're both very good resorts, but they're both very different, I guess. I know, it's, it's weird. Yeah, because they, they are very different. They're both big mega resorts. They're both really nice. So I would tell you, you will not go wrong with going to either. We absolutely love both just because we had been to Baja Mars many times. We we're like, okay, let's try somewhere new. And we really liked the Atlantis also. The Atlantis is bigger. For that. families, definitely uh, the Atlantis for sure. Yes, I think there's a bit more for kids to do at yeah. the Atlantis, um, but also obviously a couple like us, we had a lot of fun as well. And I think Baja Mars is a little bit more set up towards couples and stuff, but not necessarily. They There are always a lot of kids when we're there too. So you can can't go wrong either way. I would say if you have little ones, Atlantis is probably a little bit better and because there's a little bit more for them to do there. The rooms at Baja Mar are a little bit nicer because that resort itself is way newer. I think Baja Mar is only like five years old where the Atlantis has been around for I a really long time. I remember seeing commercials like growing up at that place, like on TV. You mean the Atlantis? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the Atlantis has been around for like ever um, yeah. where Baja Mar is a much newer resort. We stayed in the Royal Tower at the Atlantis, which was just recently renovated. So our room was like the newest rooms that they had. They just redid them. Um, so they were nice. I would still say the rooms at Baja Mar are a little bit nicer, but we really don't spend that much time in the room. You know, we're out and about most of the day. So right. I'm sorry that I can't give you a necessarily like one is better than the other. Because it, does, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Yeah, like they really are both great. You will love both. But yeah, that is basically everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our vlog and coming along with us. We love you guys and we'll see you very soon in our next video. Bye.